Welcome on board to the Alien Spaceship Talk Show with Emmy Hickens and Trevor Gear. A podcast where no topic is off limits. Fasten your seatbelt, stick the kettle on, you're in for a bumpy ride. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Is the giant hole in the space, in space, or is it in Siberia? Because according to the article, it says a giant hole in Siberia. It's visible from, oh yeah, so it's a giant hole in Siberia. Yeah, it's, in, it's on the earth, yeah. Yeah, well, um, what do you think that's going to... Uh, I don't know, I had a look at the link you sent, and it didn't seem to make a lot of sense, to be honest, but it's clearly a massive <laughs> hole yeah. um, situated in Siberia. You would have thought there will be a lot of ice visible because I always assume that Siberia is this frozen wasteland almost, but there's no apparent ice there. It just looks like a a leaf-shaped hole in the ground. I don't know how big it is, either yeah. in terms of depth or, or width, but it looks pretty huge, doesn't it? It does. Um, actually, it's got to do with the Arctic. It's a... Uh... So it's as a result of the ground thawing and collapsing as Arctic right. temperatures rise. So right. that's pretty. Um, do you know I, what the only the only reason why I brought this article is because I, I I used to think climate change was rubbish. I used to think it was just a, a lot of uh, um, hot air. Really, I just thought you know. Mm. Um, maybe they're just trying to frighten us or they're just trying to scare us into, you know, um, doing what, I suppose, just scaring us into wanting to do as they say, really. Um, but I'm starting to think that I've got the wrong idea about this climate change. What do you think about climate change? What do you make of it? It's not really something that I've really looked into. Uh, per se, because no. I've been disinterested in it until up until recently when I started looking into it. Because, and the only reason why I've been disinterested in it was because, um, you know, they say we're gonna, you know, it's gonna get warmer, you know, we're gonna get, you know, the atmosphere is getting warmer and the, and the ice is disappearing, and we seem mm. to be getting the cold <laughs> here in England. <laughs> you know. I don't know. We've actually, yeah, we've had a lot of. I think that the last eight or nine months, we've had a huge amount of rain. For example, haven't we? Uh, not, not actually in the last few weeks, but I think last winter and the, the early spring this year, it's been very, very wet. Now, some people would say that is a sign of climate change. I mean, I, I don't. I obviously, I don't have a definitive answer. I'm not even sure what I ultimately think yeah. um about it because i've always had this view that almost no matter what humans do and yeah. i'm not saying we can't influence things on the planet but no matter what we do nature will always beat us um in that sense i think the human species and all species are probably irrelevant to to the forces of nature because you know they're far greater than anything we could ever effect but that said if we are pumping out you know carbon and all the all the gases into the atmosphere then it stands to reason that there will be an effect we're going to take a short break now we're back shortly you've been listening to the alien spaceship talk show with trevor gear and emmy hickens the alien spaceship talk show podcast is looking for sponsors if you're a company out there looking to spread the word about the products and services you provide please get in touch with Deep Stuff Radio Podcast on info at deepstuffrecords.com or to use the contact form on our website to contact us, please visit radio.deepstuffrecords.com. Also, if you're looking to get involved on the Alien Spaceship Talk Show Podcast, reach out via our Deep Stuff Radio Facebook page. Thank you. <laughs> 